Howdy campers, and welcome back to your least boring summer ever. <laughs> right here at Camp Crunch Labs. I'm Mark Rober, and this is week 10 of your supercharged summer camp experience. And this episode is in honor of the Duck Games. So this is like a carnival target game that will keep score for you, whether you hit it with something from this side or from this side. So let's just jump right into this week's mega experiments, but first, we gotta find out who our special guest is. Jabros! Mark, how did you do that? Sorry, did I interrupt you? Yeah, I was in the middle of eating breakfast. What was for breakfast? Pancakes, of course. Pancakes. We'll be so fast here today, your pancakes will still be warm by the time we get you back. Yeah, they better. <laughs> You'll be hearing from my lawyers, all right? Jabril's is like a coding whiz. He's like a savant with that stuff. Jabril's is also helping us work on a very top secret project here at Crunch Labs, which you should be hearing about in like six months or so. Oh yeah. All right, Jabril, so we got some real juicy stuff today. So oh, let's yeah? head over to the picnic table. All right, let's do this it. This is a mega experiment. All right, this looks kind of interesting, huh? I see fire and soundproofing. That sounds like a good episode. Campers, get the heck over here. Welcome. Who do we got here today? My name is Elliot. My name is William. Welcome, gentlemen. Do you guys have any guesses of what's going on here? Well, I guess something to do with flamethrowers. Which is why we should probably start off with eye protection and ear protection because safety first. So we're gonna start simple and we're gonna get more and more interesting as we go along. I'm ready. Why don't you guys step back a few paces? So we've got some special gases in this bottle here. And if we put it the end of this clear tube like this, I'm gonna put a little bit of gas into this tube and then I'm gonna give it a little bit of a spark. We'll see what happens. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. it's like a fire roller awesome. coaster. Let's watch it back at high speed. Here it goes. Wow. Wow, it's like a little worm. It looks like some kind of magic spell. Oh yeah. Like a Hadouken. Hadouken! That was really cool. Yeah. Well, we're gonna level it up a little bit, because that's how we do it here at Camp Crunch Labs. And this time we're gonna put this two liter bottle on the end, and then kind of do the same thing. What is your guys' hypothesis on what's gonna happen here? Flame tornado or something? I think the fire is just gonna stay in the bottle and it might melt it. I think the flame is just gonna expand and get a lot bigger. Let's find out. Here we go, eye protection, ear protection on. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa! Whoa! I felt a little kickback on yeah, that. Yeah, that was awesome. Let's roll the high speed. We got the inchworm, you know, the Hadouken. Is there a hole in the bottle? There yes, is a hole in the bottle. Oxygen in. That's right. Whoa! That was wow. Sick. Oh. Should we level it up again? Yeah, let's level it up. I've got another little bottle of gas here. Oh no. And we're gonna take this two liter bottle and slide it over the top. What do you think might happen this time? It's not super secure, so. True. I'm guessing there will be movement of some kind. Aha, some kind of movement. The question is what direction? What direction? <laughs> How about away from you guys? Yeah, that sounds best. All right, why do you guys step back? In fact, go all the way against the fence. Again, we do things at Crunch Labs that you can't do at home because we're trained professionals. So what's gonna happen here, in theory, we put these gases in here and then they expand and they wanna fill a large volume. Well, the problem is this thing's in the way. So as it expands, we may see a little jet propulsion here. Fundamentally, this is how you put rockets in space. Same concept. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> I threw the window. <laughs> what are the chances of that? That was so cool. As you can see, we've now crashed three of the four panels. This is a milestone. Things get a little crazy here at Crunch Labs. Let's watch the high speed. Oh, <laughs> there we go! Jet propulsion! <laughs> yeah! Oh, it didn't actually even go in. Wow, wow. And this is how we built the first rockets, right? That's exactly how we built the first rockets. Should we level it up even more? There's more? But wait, there's more. Uh-oh. Any guesses on what we're doing here? Oh, you're gonna launch all of them. Maybe we launch them all. Jabril's, do you wanna do the honor on this one? Sure. The ones I'm like less certain about, I let Jabril's have the honor. Oh, I think we should hide. Okay, let's hide back here behind the tree. Good luck, Jabril's! All right, here we go. Two, three, four, five, Six, Six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten, ten, eleven, twelve, 12 13, 13, 14, 15. 15. Whoa! Yes! <laughs> you survived, Jabril! 
I can't believe it. <laughs> that was awesome. It smells amazing. See, I did that. I left my mark. My ceiling. Jabril's, what have you done? That's me. Here we go. All High right. speed. Oh. oh! Interesting that the middle one went yeah. last. It didn't combust as much. Would you guys believe me if I said we should level it up one more time? Oh no. Wait, there's oh. more? We got one more. Oh no. Oh, oh my dear God. God. No. Oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what do you think is gonna happen here? Chaos. We're all gonna die. For safety, you guys are gonna have to step up set. I'm gonna stand over here. My buddy John's coming over here. This is a three person job. Eye protection, ear protection, good. Okay. All right, Jabril's, after you do this, you're gonna stand back there safely okay. out of the way. All right, you good, John? I'm good. Okay, here we go. Go count us down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 7, 7, what? 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, pull back. Fire. Oh! <laughs> we made our own vortex can. I love this thing. Feel that. Oh my goodness, it's, it's so warm. warm. All right, campers, get back over here. Let's watch the high speed playback. You're just enjoying yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I love how over the shoulder, too. <laughs> Amazing. That's so cool. Oh. <laughs> Look at the kickback. It actually like pushes me back. Well done, gentlemen. What was your favorite one? This was cool because that was cool. we didn't know where they were going to land. Yeah. It made holes in the ceiling. Ah! That was incredible. Thank you for coming out, gentlemen. Give me some up top. Now, no, Jabril's. You have to stay here a little bit longer. You guys get back to camp. It's way past your bedtime. Get the heck out of here. The only thing I owe you now is just uh, getting you back to your pancakes. That's right. Yes. I'm glad you're... So that was our mega experiment for today. And now for my favorite part, to review this week's super challenge submissions. And the super challenge from last week was to see who could make the coolest homemade roller coaster. So let's take a look at what we've got. Welcome Barnacles to your least boring summer ever. Welcome to Crunchland Amusement Park. Once again, just the level of creativity and the effort put into these was just incredibly heartwarming to see.
Once again, the hardest part of my job, I think these four right here are probably my favorite. So if one of those was yours, be checking your mailbox for this official signed Camp Crunch Labs patch because at the end of the summer, I'm gonna pick my favorite out of all of the patch winners and they're coming out here for the final mega experiment that is so big, I'm not promising we're not sending Fat Gus to orbit into space. That's the level of epicness we're talking about. I'm just putting that out there. So for this week, your super challenge is to make some kind of homemade musical instrument. Here's me as like a three-year-old when I had chicken pox. I'm not sure how functional my musical instrument is there, but your goal is just to come up with something creative and make some actual music. It could be percussive, it could be a string thing, it could be wind, a combination of all of those. Blow me away with your abilities because I will see every single one of these before I pick my fourth favorite. Now, as usual, you wanna get your parents' permission and be safe and then film it and work with your parents to post it online. Tag us on our socials at Crunch Labs. Make sure to use the hashtag Camp Crunch Labs contest. Just make sure you've got it up by Thursday night. All right, campers, so that's it for this week. So get to work on your super challenge and putting your build box together. And then I'll catch you next week right here at Camp Crunch Labs. Let's see here. Got a big camping trip this weekend. Got to wrench up. Let's go.